Hi, this is Steve Miley, the market charts on behalf of ForexTraders.com. And we're now going to look at, take a look at the US dollar versus both the yen and also the Canadian dollar in here as we move into the early part of June. Well, dollar yen suffered here, as you can see on the intraday chart, the four hour chart, a significant setback in here, back from this downtrend line uh, that comes down all the way from the early part of May, um, rejecting a push up through 111.80, setting back from 111.71. And the plunge lower did take out this 110.46 support, having previously taken out range support here at 110.83.80. Yes, the market is still in a range, seems really dominated from mid-May but we feel this has rejected a recovery effort and although we still see a broader range environment the real risk having had the sell-off after the US employment report is for a push lower for 110.21 and potentially this ball gap in here and if we get to close this ball gap this ball gap from April at 109.57.45 then we would see a more bearish intermediate term shift. For dollar CAD we're still very much um, in here in the choppy range environment again that's kind of dominated in here from mid-May but the failure back from 135.40.55 resistance in here leaves a negative tone we feel in here going into um, into this week down for 131 134.31 133.83 133, in here so we do see a negative bias maybe even for a deeper correction remember dollar cad in here coming off on friday despite the plunge lower in oil so the plunge lower in oil negative oil for the oil price negative should be negative for the canadian dollar that should be dollar cad higher but the dollar selling off the us dollar selling off more aggressively than the canadian dollar after the us employment report so leaving a negative bias going into the early part of this week and potentially for early june this has been Steve Miley, The Market Charters, on behalf of ForexTraders.com, and I wish you a great trading week.